Okay, this is a quick overview of CyanogenMod 7 and its current status. Uh, I understand it's still in nightlies, but uh, hopefully a release candidate and possibly some stable versions will roll out pretty soon. Anyway, here's my venerable Nexus one I've had for a while. I'm looking to maybe replace it, but really I haven't found something I like. Okay, the way I've set it up, I've disabled any of the uh, sliding tabs or the rotary lock screen, and the only way to unlock my phone is by pressing the trackball twice. So I go in here, I've got the brand new beautiful widgets that was just released, the update that kind of made it better looking, as you can kind of tell there. And then uh, also I've got the weather bar below it, those are both beautiful widgets with some custom skins for the uh, gingerbread battery meter instead of a weather up there. Um, I'm also using the Maui 5 uh, Cyan theme that takes advantage of the T-Mobile theme engine that is built into Cyanogen Mod now. And so that is that is really fantastic. Let me let me show you real quick how that works. Let me go theme chooser. And I've downloaded a few off the market. Uh, but default you get the system and you get an Androidian and then you get just a Cyan bread. Uh, but you can download the Maui 5 Kang off the market along with RC Blue, Red Bread, and then uh, there was a uh, gray bread also that K-Mobs put up there. Uh, <clears throat> now, the theme is is taking care of everything. I mean, I've got icons at the top bar. It's kind of redone my my widget bar up here, which is now scrollable in the latest uh, nightlies. And then my little curve there, the curved blue, which is really snazzy. Um, it also does a few icons. It's it's clearly an incomplete theme, but nevertheless, it's still pretty nice. Uh, there's a, several icons I feel he probably will uh, hopefully add. Uh, I can only find three themed icons that are in the cyan engine or the cyan color, and so um, anyway. And I've got those three now on the bottom bar, and so anyway. And then I've got me a power amp widget along with the groove shark widget. Well, pretty simple now, and then um, go through some of the signage and mod settings. So we've got right here, and he's they've been reorganized since uh, Cyanogen Mod 6, 6.1. He's re they've reorganized them so it's a lot easier to access. It's not just kind of thrown together in different categories. They're actually very intelligent now. I can easily just look and be like, oh, dude, I'm looking to change the render effect. Hmm, well, would that be in display? Well, no, display has only those three. Oh, here we go, render effect, boom. And then I can go down here and I can change my render effect if I wanted to go with uh, different colors or if I wanted to change it to uh, um, the calibrated mode. Um, we've got lock screen functions in here, um, little different extra features, for example, like the whoop, quick unlock, obviously, I didn't mean to press that, but you can change your uh, style, we can use a rotary lock screen now, and I can go over here, and uh, right now I've got disabling the unlock slider, that's how I was able to double tap on my trackball to unlock, and you couldn't actually slide it, uh, if I disable that, then, uh, then this will take precedence, and I'll be able to use the rotary, so if I go over here, go home, Boom. Bring it back. There's my rotary. And usually, you typically, you'd only be able to get access to this rotary with Widget Locker, which is great that it's now in CyanogenMod Mod because that means it's one less program that I have to install. I love it. Um, let's see. I'm having some problems currently with the DSP manager, um, EQs, and stuff like that. So, I'm not going to show you guys that, which it didn't really change much, but the EQ part of it, I think, has changed a little bit where you adjust the different um, EQ levels. Um, let's go into system here. Uh, we got the anonymous statistics, so they can keep track of who has uh, CM installed on what device. It's pretty nifty. You can check out a change log right here from the settings, which is awesome. Love that. And then now this is really cool. This is brand new. Update notifications. If you register your phone, um, of course you have to have ROM Manager Premium, but if you register your phone, you'll get push notifications every time a nightly is posted. And then you just click on it, hit download, and it'll download and update your phone. It'll also give you the option to download Google Apps with it. That way you don't have to manually apply the Google Apps. It'll do it automatically for you. Um, sound settings. I think this is pretty much the same from CM6. Uh, I don't think any of this has been revamped, maybe reorganized a little bit. But for the most part, it's 
pretty much the same. Um, what else do we have? Interface, input, let's check here. And trackball wake has been moved to input, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. Um, you've got the screen on animation, which is, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'll turn it on so I can show you guys what it looks like, and then that hasn't changed much either. So let's go home, let's turn it off. And sometimes it's hard to get it to, yeah, let's see here. I wonder if it has anything to do with my spare parts. Because I usually change my transitions to be fast, and I have a feeling that the screen on is a transition that they've applied. Boom, there it is. Of course, you can slow it down and make it more of a more equal with the other one, but personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. But I think that pretty much covers everything, at least most of the major features, aside from the fact that it's now gingerbread. Um, it's noticeably more responsive. There's the screen, you can tell it's, everything's just more response, smooth, just... Smooth is a perfect word. It's gotten smoother since uh, CyanogenMod Mod 6. Battery life has also been improved. Um, I get really good battery life on uh, CM7. Really good. And I don't even have to flash any kind of underclocked 925 volt millivolt kernel to get it. I just use the default Cyanogen Mod kernel. I'm not even using Pursuit or KMOPS kernels anymore, which is kind of a surprise because I used to be addicted to flashing them all the time, but don't really have to do it anymore. Well, I think that pretty much covers it all. Um, if you guys have any questions, just throw them down in the comments below. I know I need to turn that light off, and I probably will in any future videos, but I guess you'll have to put up with it for now. Sorry. Thanks, guys. Bye.